The dual Berettas are probably the most iconic weapon in CS to have never seen competitive play save for a few one-offs. Until now. As well. It's gonna be a really exciting matchup and already oh. quite explosive. <laughs> one for one. Sigo gets that headshot right. on the Hero M4 here on the CT side. And also I looked it up. So Bit is their head coach. Mm -hmm. It was a poker, but they replaced him like two months ago or like a month ago, really. They're gonna be that well suited for retakes, but I'll take it all you back. Bite your tongue. Yeah. I regret it already. It's actually working out so well. He's gonna keep running and cutting. What's happening? <laughs> they they take a pistol round on the CT side. Now their streak can begin. Unless Navi are gonna steal away some Glock rounds. I wouldn't expect them to. When Operation Riptide came out last year, it came with a lot of balance updates. Reduced damage from Deagle body shots, increased damage from M4A1S body shots, and the ability to drop nades. All pretty major changes. The one change that kind of flew under the radar for a long time was the decrease in price of the dualies, from $400 to $300. Now, over a year after this change, the dualies are finally getting what's been due for a while. With a fast fire rate and a lot of ammunition, the dualies are perfect for pistol rounds. At this point, the old strategy of having four players buy armor and one player drop two P250s doesn't really make sense when the dualies exist. Still, it feels weird consistently seeing people with dualies out in pistol rounds of pro games. Before CSGO, the dual Berettas were known as the dual elites, and they were only available on the T side as a counterpart to the 5.7. The dualies skin Elite 1.6 is an homage to this old name and design. In the older CS games, the dualies cost $800, making them the most expensive pistol in those games. At the launch of CSGO, the dualies were $600, but through three separate price reduction updates, this has been reduced to $300. Also, before CSGO, the fire rate of the dualies was uncapped, meaning that you could bind your fire button to the mouse wheel and do this. Throughout the existence of CSGO, the dualies have remained fairly dormant. The only update to them that affected something other than price or aesthetics came in September of 2015, which merely buffed armor penetration and increased range. There are a lot of weapons in CS that have kind of fallen into that category of ignored. The dualies are one of them. It is extremely tough to keep a weapon balanced casually and viable competitively. The best analogy I can give to this is the stagnation of Ganondorf in the Super Smash Bros. competitive scene. This character consistently finds himself at the bottom of Smash tier lists throughout games. Nintendo cannot afford to buff Ganondorf enough to become viable competitively without him being unstoppable casually. Casual players don't know advanced techniques, and characters that hit the hardest without needing to string moves together usually are the ones who dominate in casual play. And Ganon just so happens to have the strongest moves. Who cares if he moves like he's drowning in molasses and all of his powerful moves have enough startup time to thaw, brine, cook, and serve your Thanksgiving turkey when the people you're playing against don't know what F-Smash means. This connects to the guns in CS that we consider to be the worst. In low-level matchmaking, the PP Bison, Negev, P90, and most importantly the Dooleys find their home. This is because, at this level, when players don't have the aim to kill with the precision we expect, more bullets is just better. Who cares if these weapons have atrocious spread, do no damage, and have terrible armor penetration, when the people you're playing against can't hit shots from long range and don't remember to buy armor half the time. These low-level matches are random, and top-level competitive play is incredibly calculated. There is simply no way that- But wait, the dualies are used in top-level competitive play. How did this happen? They have piss-poor accuracy, barely do more damage than the Glock, and that already bad damage drops off a ton at long range. Oh, wait. It's been a while, but here we are, as it seems I've stumbled back into the Phantom Zone of CSGO, the place where we talk about the weird flaws of the game hidden in the dark corners. In CS, when both teams have a full buy, there are so many intricacies and strategic options that both teams can take. If someone on the enemy team buys, say, a PP Bison on a full buy round, the simple solution is to buy armor and a helmet and a rifle, and hold a mid to long range angle against them. Put any two professional players into the situation, and the one with the rifle comes out on top 99% of the time. But not every round is a full buy. On pistol rounds, no player is able to buy armor and a helmet, and not really any of the pistols in the game have great accuracy over a long range. That's why those advantages of the dualies that I mentioned earlier can work in pistol rounds. 
Again, who cares if the Dooleys have atrocious spread and can't kill helmeted players without a headshot when the people you're playing against can't physically have a helmet and have guns that are subpar at range. In pistol rounds, up close and personal fights and rushes happen very often, and in a situation when you have three enemies five meters away from you, all without helmets, the Dooleys are your best bet when it comes to pistols. The Dooleys thrive in the chaotic nature of the pistol round. Pistol rounds are often debated within CS, as we have essentially put the question of which side starts with an economic advantage up to the most random rounds of the game. And this is definitely a fair argument. CS would be a lot more of a balanced and even game if pistol rounds did not exist. But then again, pistol rounds are an important piece of the history and legacy of the game, and the franchise. Pistol rounds provide us a break from the monotony of rifle rounds. Also, CS is a game just as much about economy management as it is about anything else, and this is a unique aspect of Counter-Strike as an esport. Without pistol rounds, the economy of a game would be a lot less interesting. The recent success of the Dooleys is interesting to be sure, but I don't actually think that they need to be nerfed. Just because the Dooleys are the new go-to on pistol rounds doesn't mean that they're overpowered. When the P250 was the standard, nobody was asking for it to be nerfed. It was just normal to buy up a few P250s on pistol. And Dooleys are really just that. Plus, with a weapon as iconic as the Dual Berettas, it's a good thing they're getting this love. I think that the Dooleys are a great example of a weapon perfectly suited for its niche and its niche alone. The Dooleys are great for pistols and not much else. In a force buy round, I would much rather have a P250, 5.7, or Tech 9, simply because those pistols deal more damage. And even in pistol rounds, they're not unanimously considered the best, with a lot of people still buying the P250. A lot of people make out the Dooleys as being overpowered right now, and I think that's because of our inherent biases being CS players for so long, thinking that the Dooleys are a meme gun and should suck. This bias was shown in the past, when the Negev was banned from all CSGO events after its rework. The Dual Beretta's pistol round meta highlights the chaos in CS and in pistol rounds, and a lot of people don't like that. But this chaos is what makes CS unique, and Despite the flaws it may cause, without those flaws, our game would be so much more bland. Thank you. I kind of got a bit off topic in this video. I initially just wanted to talk about the success that the Duelies have had recently in the competitive scene, and, you know, just the history of the weapons in Counter-Strike. Um, but I think what it turned out was better than what I intended it to be. But anyways, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you want more content like this, subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you.